this is Roger, thanks for dropping by. Sunday morning chat today is going to be mounted dendrobiums. Um, basically because it's the only group of plants I've got that's got stuff going on, or stuff that is sort of going on I suppose. Um, I'll move round, there may be points where I'll have to stop because it's certainly some of the bigger plants I'll once I've got them down to show you, I need somewhere to put them and I run out of room very quickly. But we can start with some of the smaller stuff. Um, this is the Dendrobium Lodigesii. And um, quite honestly, uh, this has got buds coming out all over the place at the moment. Um, it might be difficult to see on the camera, especially if you've got small screens. But there's a mixture on the plant of buds. Yeah, like this, this cane has got lots of buds coming. This cane has got buds coming. Um, it's also got a kiki growing at the end, right? Literally right on the end of the cane. Um, and this one may have as well. Uh, got buds over here and here. These are quite visible on this cane. So I've got to remember where the camera is. I'm looking at the plant, not the camera. Um, but we've also got new growths coming on this out at the base. Uh, Hang on, let's get the camera. <laughs> I've got the camera in a slightly different place. So we've got some new growths coming from the base and some growing on canes. Um, so this one's coming back to life basically. It dropped quite a lot of its leaves in the winter. That's no problem, that's what it's supposed to do. So we should get blooms on there um, down the line. Um, and enough to make that quite a good show, I think. So I'm pleased with that. Winter resting type, obviously. A um, couple of tiny things up here. I'll show this first because to all intents and purposes this is dead. <laughs> this is a Cuthbert Sonii and um, somebody else who grows quite a few of these said don't give up on it. First of all get it out of that tray that it's in yeah, and get it mounted so that it can dry fast which I've done and basically keep it relatively dry which um, goes against the way this ought to be which is constantly moist. Um, I suspect it's dead but um, the person advised me don't give up on it literally it may sprout out so uh, we live in hope with that one. <laughs> this is the one that had a bloom on it when I was given it and it's from the same person who advised me on that one. The bloom's now finished it's only got a couple of little tiny growths on it. It's growing in live moss, which suits it fine. And um, I'm awaiting progress. Uh, there's no reason why that shouldn't start pushing out some new growth so soon. So that's that one. <coughs> what else we got up here? We've got this tiny little miniature, which came from Alberto, when he had to give his collection up to move to Kew. Um, this has grown a few little bits on it, but it's difficult to see real progress on it. And that is Dendrobium... Oh God, I can never remember how to say this. Likey Nostrum, I think it is. Um, but anyway, uh, a genuine miniature. That, that is it. That's how it grows. Um, it's a division. I don't know whether that's anywhere near blooming size or not being a miniature. <laughs> we just have to wait and see, won't we? But it, it's grown a few new pieces, so it's, it's, it's doing something. This is my... Um, Victoria Regina and we've got two things going on here we've got a tiny little new growth which isn't from the base but behind the scenes behind here are some new roots growing so there's some signs of white and green and this little new growth is slowly but surely pushing on um, that is its hope basically that little new growth and the idea of placing this cane here which is quite plump although it's a small plant, um, and keeping it on damp moss is that it may shoot out from the nodes. It hasn't done yet and there's no signs of it doing so, but not dead yet and there is one little growth, slowly but surely, growing. We like that. Long way off being a decent plant that one though. And up here we've got some oddities that don't get filmed. Um, this is Dendrobium fleckery, one eye on the end, it's an Aussie one and it's got a little bud <laughs> and I emphasize little bud I know the size these blooms should be and I'm not sure that's going to develop properly but this one really struggled it had to be unmounted because this growth here was pointing backwards straight into the mount 
So I unmounted it, turned it round, and the growth promptly failed anyway. Um, so I'm looking for signs of new growth on that, but nothing at the moment. But we may have a bloom, and if we do, this time I'll take a picture of it, because the last two times I forgot. hasn't bloomed for some time now, so uh, coming on. Uh, next to that we've got my Dendrobium monili form, which is not a happy bunny. It's so difficult to say why. It's got some roots, um, and it produced lots of what looks like were going to be buds, which then just stopped growing on these two, these two latest growths here. It did actually bloom a while ago. It did produce some blooms. Looks like it's got a kiki coming out here. Um, but it doesn't grow that well for me. I mean, it's quite a cool grower, that one. Um, so obviously it's gonna, it would have suffered in the heat and it may have taken a while to recover. But its roots have gone on round the back of the mount. It's got a root system. It just doesn't seem to want to shoot out from the base at the moment. But we shall wait and see. Get back up there. Now that might seem odd that I'm putting that up in the roof when I've just said it's a cool grower. There's logic there. Because once it starts to get a little warm in here, the huge circulating fans come on, and this bit here is right in the direct line of fire. So they never get too warm up there. They still need the light. It's the, the conflict of interest. Well, this is the Tetragonum variety Giganteum. I'm not going to keep saying Dendrobium each time, because we're looking at Dendrobium, <laughs> so they're all Dendrobiums. Um, this one did bloom a while back. It has, it's in the process of producing some new growths. It's been grown on from a seedling, tiny little uh, shoots around here. It's got a very good and active root system. So coming on nicely, that one, I'm pleased. That arrived as quite a nice plant, and it's since grown on nicely. And the newer growth seem to be getting larger and larger. So we should get some more blooms on that sometime. Oops, a bit lower down. This one is, I hope it's got a tag on it. Yes, this is Tortilli, or Tortile, Tortilli. Um, when this arrived, it had a cane with two kikis. Now that cane started to rot, so I hastily took the two kikis off and planted them near the base. And as you can see, we've now got new growth starting on both of the kikis. Um, I don't think the main plant is actually going to survive. I mean, I can. You know, that's just rotted. But what we've got is two replacement plants, albeit Kiki's. That again came from Alberto when he um, gave up his collection to move to Kew. But the plant's saved. The two Kiki's will now grow on. Uh, I've got a clue what the blooms look like on that. <laughs> and we're probably a long way off waiting. The Kaneko um, is coming on leaps and bounds, quite honestly. All of the growth from last time, it does eventually become deciduous, so starting to lose some leaves on last year's growths, that's fair enough. They're now all over the floor. Um, we do have blooms, and that was a bit of a surprise attack, because it did bloom a while ago, and I wasn't expecting any more until these new growths became old growths, if you see what I mean. And <laughs> it suddenly sprouted out from the old canes again. Um, so yeah, a nice little blooming on that. Still got more buds to come down here. So there's you know, a little bit of a succession going on. But then it's probably going to have a bit of a break from blooming. But down at the base, um, we do have some new growth starting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five I can see, definitely. There may be more to come. So this one grows well for me. And strictly speaking, given its parentage, that should be a cool grower. So it should be suffering, but it's not. It's doing, doing very well. Uh, next we get on to Mr. Harry, which is actually a request anyway. But uh, there are several requests in this with the Dendrobium, so they're all getting lumped into one. Um, somebody said, have you got any buds? I said, no. And they said, well, have you got new growths? Well, yes. <laughs> What we've got here is some new growths that have been progressing through the winter and some that are just starting. So this is a winter growth here. Um, it may well have finished growing, but it might push on a bit more. And we've got some new growths starting from around the base in various places. But we have no sign of buds whatsoever. So I think we're not going to get blooms this year. 
But what we've got is large last year growths, yeah? And towards the end of this year or during this year, they will start to drop their leaves, at which point they become this type of growth, the old leafless ones, which is where it blooms from mainly. I won't say always, but mainly. So you can get an odd bud on the previous year's growth. But it tends to be on two-year-old growths. And um, I haven't had the plant long enough to have a shed load of two-year-old growths. But um, it's growing on. As I say, it's still dropping a few leaves now and again, which always might worry people, but, you know, that's, that's how it grows. Um, what you need to do is look at your latest growths and are they still bright green? That's the giveaway. If the canes are older and the leaves are going, normal. If your latest growths that are still growing start dropping leaves, you've got a problem. Now, this is not supposed to be an easy grower, this one, but this one's coming on quite nicely. Quite a few new growths just starting or um, completing. <laughs> if, <laughs> if they're winter growths, they might not grow much longer. But, you know, several pieces on a mount, doing okay. Mr. Hairy, nickname. Right, have I got any dendrobiums around this side? No. Right, where do we move to next then? I'm going to stick to the easy stuff first. Um, these two were in a repot not long ago. Um, they're not doing well, but I wasn't expecting them to burst into life just because I took them out of a pot and removed them from their decaying media. I didn't expect them to suddenly rock it. But it's allowed them to totally dry, which was the plan, and now they can be watered as and when required and not sit in breaking down media. But whether they will grow on or not, I really don't know. There's no signs of new growths yet. They're both the same plant and the tag's not on there, so I've forgotten what it is. I think it was Nora Tokunaga, um, Latoria type anyway, and at the moment, static, doing absolutely nothing, which was expected for a while. And then the other Latoria type, which um, we did at the same time, and I'm not without going and looking at some notes or something, I'm not going to know what this one is. Uh, I've just completely forgotten. And again, this, this one had to have the same treatment. It's in media that had been, in, you know, been around far too long. And um, it was taken out to allow the base of the plant to totally dry off because it was starting to rot in places. But what we do have on this one is one little new growth, which after taking it out of the pot and mounting it, could stall. But I've got a feeling it's a little bit bigger than it was when, when this was mounted not long ago. So uh, I have to watch for progress on that one. If that new growth can make it and push on, then it will get new roots. So uh, some hope for that one. Right, nothing else up on that rack. Uh, where are we now? Nope, can't miss out Hibiki, can we? Star performer last year, this one. It's a bit of a biggie. Um, oh, this started pushing out new growths either late last year or into the winter. Um, hang on, I'm going to have to get back a bit, aren't I, for this one. We're getting into the big stuff. And um, when I watered this yesterday, we've got some things starting on some of the older canes. Uh, I noticed one there, and, there was another, and there's another one here. Now, those could be buds. But they could be new growths, because this one has a habit of producing new growths very close to the base, or slightly up the cane, like this one. So you'd have to class that as a kiki, basically. But that's actually starting to produce some roots. Um, we've got this big new growth that started, I think, about the middle of last year. That's still growing. And then later in the year, towards autumn, maybe even into the winter, it started more new growths. So these are winter growths. This one, this one the one at the bottom and this one pushing out here. And round the back there, there's another new growth just starting at the base of this cane. That could also be a bud, I suppose. Anyway, I think there may be signs of some budding, but that will be a forerunner of what ought to be a bigger blooming on these canes, which are now in their second year, if not their third. And these haven't bloomed yet, these larger ones, so we should see some movement on that later on. Lovely blooms and last for ages. That's that one. There's only one up on this rack. Uh, 
And this, I think, forevermore, this will be the disbelievers' plant. Because <laughs> there's me carefully pointing out all the new spikes coming on it, and nobody could see them. But I'll have to apologise, I forget. When I'm sat at my computer looking at a huge screen, I forget that some people have only got a phone to deal with YouTube, and they're dealing with a smaller screen. You know, it would be like me trying to watch my video on the screen that goes with this camera. And so I appreciate that people wouldn't be able to see much. So this is the Jenkins CI, and um, if I turn it up like that, you'll see the spikes. Um, the buds are now starting to form, and the spikes are getting long enough for the buds to separate, so that they, they are nicely visible now. That's my um, one of the pictures at the start-up of my videos, the one on the right, and on my Facebook group, it's the banner picture. Um, yeah, I mean, we've one, two, three, four, five spikes in that area. Two up the top, one there, another one there, two there, one here, one here, and one, two, three, four, five or six down there. Multiple spikes. Some are only just starting, so th these are relatively new. But um, most of them are uh, well underway now. So this is going to look good when this blooms. It's going to have a hole in the middle, basically, which is where the older shriveled pseudo bulbs are that would probably just pull off if I gave them a tug. Um, but we, it's going to bloom. It, it's, it's, it's not growing at all at the moment. It's doing blooming. Um, the new growths won't start for a while yet. Um, and as I start seeing the new growths, I need to get it off this mount and do something with it. Um, it's starting to look like not a very good plant, when in fact all it's doing is what it should normally do. But the older parts of the plant are dying back to shriveled just bits of brown with no leaves on. And they're making the whole center of the plant look ugly. So this bit, this bit, this bit, and these bits are gonna get taken off, <coughs> stripped of the old bulbs, and reset up on a mount into one clump that's gonna look nice again. And that'll be ready for next year with any luck if it recovers quick enough. But yeah, it's going to bloom. That's the main thing. Not a lot of point having you if you don't bloom. I do have some in that category. <laughs> Which I need to deal with, basically. Right, now we're into the big stuff, uh, are we? Yes, I've done all the mounted dendrobiums now. Um, I'm only doing mounts, I'm not doing pots. Um, this one's in full flood at the moment. This is primulinum. And if this can just hang on until... Uh, the weekend, then that can go to the show. Um, let's get back far enough. So we're starting to get to the point where we need to see the scale of the plants and not get the hook in the blooms and pull them off. So it's, a, it's grown nicely last year, pushed up two good strong canes, or both of which are in flower over most of the length of the cane. It very rarely blooms near the base of the cane. It's usually the last two thirds. That's how it grows. And I've already got four new growths coming on this one. And they'll start pushing a new root system soon. I don't need a new root system on this. It's got quite good roots all in under the moss and hanging out the side. But nonetheless, that's how they work. They, you know, the new growths produce a new root system so that it's not so dependent on the older ones. So looking nice, that one. Lovely blooms. I don't know how close I can get with the blooms, but um, before they go out of focus. <laughs> um, but they are very attractive blooms um, and out of the uh, resting dendrobiums effectively that's the only one in bloom yet but we have more to come now this one's in the wrong place because when I put them back yesterday after watering it um, <laughs> it was hiding so this is not where I normally keep it this is um, glomeratum which as an example of the plant, let's get back a bit here, because it's uh, got very long canes on it. As an example of glomeratum, these canes are incredibly long. Most of the other peoples I've looked at, the canes aren't that long. They're more like two thirds of that length. It's more like this sort of size plant. Um, but it's got a good strong new growth pushing out the top. So we've got that one to eventually try and get to arch over and come down with the rest. I had to do that with this one last year. You see I clipped it to the one that was already pendulant because it was sticking straight out and wherever it was, it was in the way. So I clipped them together to force that one downwards and I'll probably have to do that. No sign of any buds on this and this hasn't bloomed for ages. 
I would like to think it would bloom on this cane. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Um, otherwise, we've got to wait for that one. Um, but we shall see. It's not a true wrestler, that one. That's just a dryer in winter. Well, you can probably say that's what all of them are. That's that one. Let's get this monster out of the flipping way. I don't expect this to bloom. It might surprise us, but I don't think it will. This is Chrysium, the big box orchid. The reason why the box was big. Um, I'm going to have to get right back here to get the scale of that in. Um, where my hand is down the bottom, that's the end of the canes, and up here is the top of the plant. It's a metre long, basically. Um, these canes were on it when I got it. They have produced a lot of kikis. So far, no blooms. Um, and no sign of any that I can see, anyway. This mass of new growth was produced last year, which I was very pleased about. But because it had a lousy root system, they stopped growing quite early. So they're not full length, and they've all got terminal leaves on, so all these new growths have finished growing, and they're nowhere near as long as they should be. So what I, it's now got, oh, let's get back in a bit closer, in under here now is quite a good root system pushing out. Um, it's going up through the moss in places, out the side, yeah? So it's now producing a reasonable root system. And somewhere down the line, it will start another load of new growths. Um, at which point, I may thin out these, simply because, you know, they've stalled. They're not the right length. So um, I may thin them out to give some room to what will be this year's growths when they start. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's... I've got roots even coming out the top here. So it is now producing a root system that should enable it to uh, get going this year and produce some much longer canes. Right, Dendrobium hercoglossum. This has got buds all over the place, but um, again, this, 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 this has like a three-year cycle on it, this one. These are last year's new growths up the top. Um, they're still growing, so they've grown on a little bit in the winter. They'll carry on until they're heavy enough to start coming down to here, yeah? And these are the previous year's growths, and right down here are the previous, previous year's growths. And it's got buds coming all over the place, quite honestly. They're very small, I'm not gonna be able to show them to any great extent, but um, it's another one of those, trust me. Let's see if I can find a cane that I can get near the camera. I'll pick on that one. <laughs> this is not easy. Okay, so on that cane, you can see buds there on the end of my little finger and moving towards the end of the cane there's buds pushing out here and here. So on that cane there's one, two, three, four, five buds pushing out. Um, some of the canes have got quite a few more than that pushing out. And even some of these older, totally, you know, really old canes have still got some buds coming down here. So we're going to have quite a reasonable show on this one again, I think. Um, as usual, it's unlikely to bud on any of these canes, last year's growths, but it will next year. Yeah, and as I said, they're still growing. Rather, and we do have a good root system now because this got unmounted and remounted last year because the, uh, for once, the actual mount was breaking down, starting to rot. So uh, anyway, um, during last year, it produced a good root system. So doing well. Very pleased with that one. And uh, it currently has zero. Oh, I was just going to say it has no kikis, but there's one still on there. And that one didn't get taken off because the roots weren't long enough. Right, now we have what I would call a bit of a disappointment, but it could be because it's its first time blooming. Blooming, you say? Where? I'll show you. Right. This is Bullenium. And this was hand-picked, chosen by me from the picture of the bloom, so it's my own fault. <laughs> um, at the top of the plant, we've got two little short canes. This one's still growing, and so is that one. I thought they'd actually reached a terminal leaf, but you, what I thought was a terminal leaf has still got another leaf coming, so these two are still growing, and we've got two more just starting down at the base. Um, didn't have a very good root system, but it's produced some during the winter, 
and um, I think these two new growths will get that root system going. Um, all these canes down here were on it when I got it, yeah, and what we've got are the blooms. As Billy Connolly would say, decidedly average. That's not what I was expecting. First, they are tiny. There's my thumb, yeah? And these were supposed to be quite a sort of fiery orangey red colour with some yellow. Well, what we've got is some yellow with some tiny little bits of uh, pinky red in the middle. That's not quite what I was expecting. That really isn't. But nonetheless, I also wasn't expecting it to bloom out the end of the cane. Um, but we may get some more buds on this. Um, it obviously thinks it's blooming size. And maybe because that has pushed a you know, bunch cluster out the end of the cane, and it's its first time blooming, maybe they're just small. And maybe they will be a bit bigger. But that's not quite what I had in mind when I chose that one. But nonetheless, it's blooming. Unusual one, that one. Right, where are we now? Let's get another bear cane one down. Funny, when um, I started collecting these deciduous long cane types, my daughter said, I don't know why you get them, they're horrible, they're ugly. <laughs> and at the time, I could sort of see the point, yeah? Because, I mean, that's got one leaf left on it, which will fall off very soon. And so, for a period of the year, that's what you've got. And I'll have to say, in all honesty, that's why I don't like catacetums. Because for a fair part of the year, all you've got is a stump sticking out of a pot. Totally dormant. Whereas with these, I'll put up with it. <laughs> I just like dendrobiums. And um, how I started collecting them, I really don't know. I think it was just I got one or two, and then that a lot became available in relatively quick succession and in those days I was, I'll have that, I'll have that, I'll have that. <laughs> and suddenly there was quite a large collection. I'm a bit dubious now about increasing that much more, I must admit. But um, this is actually Dendrobium of Phyllum. And um, this came from Alberto a while ago as a single kiki, which bloomed last spring. It then pushed up one new growth which is about to bloom. And on this type of dendrobium, those blooms, like the primulinum, because they're very close relatives, they will probably open almost together. So as soon as one opens, the rest will open. But unlike oncidiums, they're often back to front. The largest bloom buds are near the end of the cane, and the smaller buds are near the top. If that was an oncidium, the biggest buds would be near the base of the spike and the smaller ones at the top, so back to front. But what I have just noticed, there's a little bud on that tiny little cane as well. There won't be any on this one, because that one's already bloomed. And I have, I doubt if you'll see that, because it's minute, I have at the moment a single new growth. Now you better sort your act together. I want more than one growth out of you this year. One cane per year is not good enough. But it was a kiki, you know, it's, it's got to be allowed a bit of time, I suppose. But Blooms on that to come probably quite soon. Unfortunately, not by the weekend. No chance. Right, now I've got to start being a bit more careful because I've got buds dangling around. They tend, these type of buds tend to catch on things incredibly easy and when you try and tug the plant to pull them away, the bud comes off. So great care required while they're in this state. All right. Oh. And these have to be got down very carefully, kept at the right height, twisted so that the canes don't get caught on that rack, and not drop down too soon or I knock plants over. And then I can lower them down. Yes, I know it's a faff, but they're worth it. And this is Dendrobium nesta, which is an anosmum cross. Again, looking at a pretty hefty plant here. Certainly not my longest one, but quite long. Two new growths last year, the previous year had three, so I'm watching you, yeah, because if you, <laughs> at the moment it's got one new growth, and if we're going to do three, two, one, then, you know, you may be on borrowed time, mate, but I could never get rid of this, the blooms are gorgeous. So we've got two last year's growths in full bud at the moment, they tend to come out in twos or threes, I don't think I've ever had a four, but twos and threes from the leaf nodes, 
of the leafless previous year's growth. Well, that's how that one goes. Um, it's going to look good, yeah? But again, not a leaf in sight. But what it did do last year is produce a really good root system. Um, best it's ever had, quite honestly. It pushed roots out all over the place, right up through the moss. A few going round the back. Some gone aerial. So it's more than enough to support that plant. <coughs> but we need a little more than one. So come on. If it only produces one growth this year, then I'm going to have to look into it because it should produce more. And the next biggie, which is in the same boat, it has to be lifted off its hook, turned through 90 degrees, and gently lifted down to stop it knocking the pots over on the shelf. Ooh. Come on, monster. Now this is a Nosman, so this is the actual one. I was watching um, John Benedict's um, video on his Anosmans. He had a whole set, and certainly <laughs> last spring, boy, was that a show. Everywhere you looked was Anosman blooms. And he's done something to the plants which, talking to others, was wrong. He took too many old canes off. And so his blooming this year is not, nowhere near as good. Um, so I don't think he's very pleased about that. But a lesson learned, and I'll learn the lesson too. Um, I took off three or four older canes on this plant, um, but I took them off towards the end of the year, um, so obviously it could still put its energy into its one new cane, and that one is now going to bloom. Still hanging on to a couple of leaves here, yeah, but that's going to bloom soon. And um, again, during last year it's grown its best root system it's ever had. They've gone right round the back of the mount, watching the buds don't come off. Yeah, they've even gone through holes in the mount, <laughs> or they've made holes in the mount possibly. Um, but yeah, I've now got a pretty extensive root system for one of these types of plants. Um, these plants can support themselves on quite small root systems. They don't have to grow three foot in every direction. You know, they, they can support themselves on quite small ones. They tend to grow better once the roots are attached to something. And at the moment. We have no signs of new growths at the base whatsoever. So uh, if this is one of those that doesn't start the new growths until it's bloomed, you can see why uh, you've got to feed and water well. You know, to get a metre long cane in a single growing season, you know, it takes a bit of effort. Feed and water well and all that stuff. Uh, I get that one. There's only a couple more to go. Ah, the frog has come on. I think I'll turn that off. It's, uh, the humidity is not exactly that low at the moment. So you can just shut up for a minute. As I've nearly finished doing that. Bit like a hurricane when that thing fires up. Right, what, what else have we got? What we've got here is my Findlayanum. And it's not a bad plant. Um, got good, good length canes very very swollen nodes which is what it's supposed to look like and what we have on this one is buds that are going to open quite soon but what we've also got on this one is more buds starting farther back so let's see if I can show you so we've got buds on the end of the cane here but if you work back and look at the nodes there's another one starting here now these ones farther back might turn into kikis yeah that's on an older leafless cane there, there's one at the end. So we'll have to wait and see what those do. Original canes that were on it when I got it, so that's what I started with. Um, there's signs of new growth in quite a few places near the base here, so there's, the new growths are already underway. But um, although this isn't going to be a mass blooming, you know, we've got two canes here, three and four buds there, and um, another four buds at the end of that cane. And we may have some more to come, but it's certainly not going to be a mass blooming, but it grows well and it now blooms, because I had this for a while without any blooms, so I was thinking, you know, it was in that are you ever going to bloom category. But um, we got some to come on that one. Anyway, that's that Findlay You can go up there. What else have we got? Now this is a weird one, and this one does not like bright light. This came out of the big box, 
to all intents and purposes, dead. <laughs> dead as a doornail. Well, that's what it... Oh, stop tangling up. That's what it looked like. It had this single long cane with leaves on the end that looked quite badly cold damaged to me. Um, but it carried on growing for a bit. Yeah. So we've got one long cane and there were a couple of kikis which I took off and planted near the base. Um, that's these two here, both of which have finished growing. They're not going to get any bigger, but they should pr provide two new bases to get some new growths from. And then the base of this long cane threw out another growth towards the end of last year. At the point it started recreating its root system, which it's now done quite well. It's now got a good root system. And at the moment it's got two brand new growths coming out from the top. Now this is a difficult one. This grows as a lithophyte on limestone rocks. So it's not an epiphyte, it's a lithophyte. And limestone rocks means this gets a fair old bit of the calcium type stuff as its natural environment. So, uh, but being a rock grower, I'm surprised it doesn't like the bright light, but it, it goes purple incredibly quickly if that gets a bit too much light, which is round, why it's round the back. And blow me. I don't remember seeing that last time I looked on the end of my thumb. That could be another kiki. <laughs> it could be a flower spike. I don't even know what the blooms are supposed to look like on that. I haven't looked it up simply because, as in my opinion, it's a long way off blooming, so I don't need to know. But if that's a bloom spike, and therefore that is, we might get some blooms. Or we'll get some more kikis. But, yeah, I wasn't expecting that to live. Well, that was in the one nearly dead category. There were a few of those, came out of the big box. And then last but not least is another flipping monster. And if this is going to bloom this year, it's flipping late. Oh, let's see if I can get the flipping thing down. And this is so heavy it twists the, the rack round. But this is a large plant. And this is Friedrichsianum. A um, bit of a beastie coming on here. Masses of new growths last year. And exceptionally good, long, strong canes. So you certainly can't mo Oh, well, blow me. Yay! We have buds, yeah? At each of those leaf joints are buds. So that, I don't believe that is a last year's. Oh, hang on, there's some here too. Oh, and here. Oh, flipping sure, I did, well, I didn't see those yesterday. That's it, make me out a liar, why don't you? <laughs> saying this one's, so we have buds in many places. I don't see any buds in this area. This is last year's growth which is all finished growing now, terminal leaves everywhere. But on the previous year's growth, around here, we do have buds. We have buds on that cane, that cane, that cane, that cane, and that cane. So we're going to have blooms on that. Yippee! Um, again, um, <coughs> this one pushed out a good root system last year. Um, well able to support itself now. and. I can see some new growths on here too. Where's my camera gone? Got new growth starting here, another one here. Um, this one produces its new growth over a period of about a month, maybe even six weeks. They don't all come out at once. Um, and yet, they all seem to progress in a reasonable, orderly fashion. Good God, there's a mealy bug. I haven't seen one of them for ages. There's an ex mealy bug, or it is now. <laughs> I haven't even thought about spraying for bugs this year yet, because that's the first one I've seen of a... I mean, that was an adult mealybug, so it may have um, offspring lurking if it managed to find another mealybug to play around with. Anyway, so that's the mounted dendrobiums. Um, obviously there are many other dendrobiums. And I want to show you this, because this is an anomaly. This is... Dendrobium Lovely Virgin Angel and um, I looked it up and although that particular named variety I couldn't find the variety Lovely Virgin is readily available and uh, it is virtually 50% nobly the species and then 
all sorts of weird and wonderful things. These are kikis. This should not be blooming and it's very, very insecure in its pot. But that's what the blooms look like. Let's see camera. Um, they are like little nobly blooms, but they haven't opened straight. Yeah, they're slightly distorted. Now that could be because it's such a weak plant. And it's the first time, well, these, these are kikis. <laughs> first time. If they were still attached to the mother plant, it would be the first time it's bloomed since 2015. But in amongst there are some gorgeous colours. Deep yellow in the centre, followed by a much deeper purple, and paler bits, and, and a nice sort of um, magenta colour. So it has potential, that plant. That's a newly opened, that one. And as the newly opened blooms go, that's it. <laughs> there isn't much going on at the moment, as I said. Just having a quick look round to make sure. And no, nothing else has opened and is, or is likely to in the near future, quite honestly. Next thing will be that dendrobium um, chrysotoxin, I suspect. Or maybe one of the Farmer I Griffithianum ones, their sp spikes on those are pushing on. But out of the mounted ones, that, 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 that's where we are with all of those. So that's Sunday morning done. Sunday afternoon will consist of packaging up the rest of the orchids that can go. I've got one person that's on hold at the moment because their potted plant is not in a fit state to post. It's too unstable and has not made any effort to re-establish a root system since it was split. So I'm holding on to that with permission along with the kikis that go with it. Um, but apart from that, everything else can go. So I'm going to get it packaged up this afternoon and go and see Postman Pat tomorrow morning and get them underway. And that just leaves me one person to deal with plus the big white vanda, um, which I hope to find a suitable box and deal with this afternoon. That's my hope. Anyway, so that's where we are with that. Thanks for dropping by and um, another Sunday morning chat done. I have to think of someone else for next week now, won't I? <laughs> Bye for now.